Welcome back to another episode of Home Sweet Home Cooking. I am Rocky, your host. My mother is gonna be pattering around the kitchen. But this video is gonna be mostly me. This is a recipe called, well it's for venison meatballs. It could be really any meatball you want. But my friend Trent is getting married tomorrow and he asked me to bring something made with venison for the potluck kind of celebration they're having. So, uh, venison meatballs it is. I am doing a triple batch because I'm making it for bunches of people and the original recipe calls for one and a half pounds of venison hamburger, eight ounces of finely chopped water chestnuts, two eggs, one third cup of oatmeal, four teaspoons of instant beef bouillon, one teaspoon of sorry one tablespoon of Worcestershire that is in the meat and then when you make the sauce or the gravy it's going to be one cup of water, one half cup brown sugar, one half cup lemon juice, one quarter cup ketchup, two tablespoons of cornstarch, and one quarter teaspoon salt. That's going to go into the gravy part or the meat sauce, meatball sauce. Um, I'm doing a triple batch so if I call off something, numbers that didn't match what I just said, that's because it is three times as much. So I have four and a half, actually there's five pounds of meat, venison hamburger in there. Uh, a little more is not going to hurt. Three eight ounce cans of water chestnuts that come sliced. All I did is run a knife through them, give them a good coarse chop, and six eggs. Don't you need seven and a half pounds of meat? No. One and a half, one and a half is six. One and a half and one and a half is three. And one and a half is four and a half. So, uh, one cup of oatmeal, the four teaspoons of instant bouillon becomes one quarter cup. And I was a little bit short on the, the bouillon powder, so I took a couple bouillon cubes and had to crush up to make the difference. But you don't want to use a whole bouillon cube in here, you want to use the bouillon the powder bouillon uh, or the granulated uh, bouillon and four or sorry three tablespoons of Worcestershire and then you're just going to give it a good mix and the only way to really mix this is going to be by hand one two you had enough You had just enough. Three tablespoons of uh, Worcestershire sauce. But you can put it on your list. And then you just get in there and use what God gave you and mix it up. And I'm not gonna make you watch me do this, so I'm gonna fast forward. You don't have to shut it off. You don't have to shut it off. I'll just edit it out. Should I preheat the oven? Oh, yeah, sure. 350? I don't know, I didn't get that far yet. So it's mixed real good. It's gonna be a little bit moist, very kind of a loose texture, and you're gonna make meatballs out of that. And put them on, we're lining our pan with parchment paper. And I'm gonna use a small scoop because I'm serving lots of people, I'm going to make these a little bit smaller. And I'll measure them out so they're pretty much all even. They cook even. I'm going to scoop them out, give them a little roll to get them around, drop them on here. Got the oven preheating to 350 degrees. And I'm not sure how long. The recipe doesn't say how long to bake it. Just till just they're brown. Yeah, I just want to get them brown, cook through, and where they're going to hold their shape once they're in the meat sauce. But I'm going to go ahead and get this done, throw these in the oven, and I'll show you what they'll look like when they come out. So I've been out of the oven, then browned up, got a nice little bit of dark brown on there, and that liquid you see coming out, that's a little bit of the fat, not much fat in there, it is venison, uh, but some of the, the egg, the albumin of the egg coming out, a little bit of the... Um, the heme, the plasma portion of the blood coming out, and that's going to help dry these out so they stay. I mean, I've been giving them a good squeeze. They're still pretty firm. Now it's starting to break apart. But it's done in the middle. That little crunch of the, the, the water chestnut is fantastic in these. So, normally what you do 
you wouldn't have let, wouldn't have to let these cool down. However, it's Friday, and I'm cooking this for an event tomorrow. So I want to get the meatballs all done, and we're gonna go ahead and put those in the fridge. And tomorrow morning, we're gonna finish up this video with me making the sauce. And I'm gonna put these in a crock pot, get the crock pot going while I make the sauce, get them to start warm up. Then I'll pour the sauce on there, and then we're gonna go to the wedding. So. For now, this is just going to get put in a large Ziploc bag and go in the fridge overnight. And we will finish the rest of this video in the morning. Good morning everybody, it is the next day. I'm a little tired so my energy is going to be down a little bit. We've got the meatballs back in or into the crock pot, Nesco roaster oven, 6 quart, will do fine for a triple batch or just a small round one if you're doing a single or double batch. We got those going back in. Um, got those to heat up. If you're going to stay at the end of the video, I got a bonus video. I got them reheating over here. I've already filmed that. It'll be at the end of this part. But if you want to stick around, you'll have a bonus video. And those, those are reheating over there. Now I need to make the gravy for the meatballs. Real easy. In the saucepan, I've got three cups of water. Mind you, this is a triple batch. Again, for a single batch, it's one cup of water, one half cup brown sugar, one half cup lemon juice, one quarter cup ketchup, two tablespoons of cornstarch, and one quarter teaspoon salt. So the numbers I gave you from here on four are going to be tripled. Three cups of water. I need to add that for me. One and a half cups of brown sugar. This is a, I don't know, it's a, a, a sweet, um, slightly tangy meatball sauce. Uh, not really a gravy. Definitely not a barbecue sauce, but it pairs really well with the venison. Um, I don't know about where we got this recipe, where my mom got this recipe, but I'm glad she did. Oop, that's one and a half. Early, early morning. All right, one and a half. The brown sugar. Next is going to be one and a half cups of lemon juice. If you want to go ahead and squeeze fresh lemons, knock yourself out. I am not going to do that. So you got your sweet. This will give you your tangy. Just about out of lemon juice. One, that'll be three quarter cups of ketchup. Any brand will do. This is actually an Aldi's brand, that's not bad. The thickening agent is going to be the cornstarch. Need six tablespoons of that. I'm having a great day. And last but not least is the salt. It calls for one quarter teaspoon. And I'm just going to use a one teaspoon measure to figure out three quarters. And that's it. You're just going to whisk this together. You're going to put it on the stove, probably around, I don't know, medium heat, just till it comes thick, like a sauce, like a gravy, and pour it over the meatballs. So I'll show you what that, uh, what it looks like when it's done thickening up, so you know how thick it is, and I'll get it on there, and um, then I'm going home. Away we go. It has thickened up quite good. Um, this is kind of like a sweet and sour sauce. Uh, it's definitely thicker. I still want to cut it thin because it's got to flow through and coat the meatballs. So you just want to pour it. Now if you're doing this in a Dutch oven, you would just go ahead and add the meatballs to the Dutch oven. You would cook the sauce right in the crock or the, the Dutch oven. But in this case, just pour it over the meatballs in your crock pot, your Nesco, whatever you're going to use. I'm just going to use a spatula. 
spatula. Make sure it's underneath on the bottom so the meatballs don't burn. And now, just get these reheated through, but gotta taste my handiwork. Hmm, how are <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. It's definitely sweet and sour-ish in flavor. The venison really pops through. Got that crunch of the water chestnut. Really great order, side table, appetizer, uh, picnic fair, whatever you want to use it for. Pre-game, halftime show, post-game. These are fantastic meatballs anytime. Uh, I, this is it. I'm just going to put the cover on it. Uh, take it home, put the cover back on it, let it heat some more before I put it in the car because i got about an hour and a half drive and we'll plug it in. Put it on a lower temperature, make sure it's heated through before we serve them. Stick around. Uh, there's a bonus video at the end. So, if you want to see this one, it's coming up right about now. So, you stuck around to the end of the video. Good for you because you're going to get a bonus recipe. Uh, we're also going to take the little smoky cocktail wieners in a barbecue uh, saucy sauce, meatball sauce. Uh, these are really easy to do. I found uh, some cocktail wieners on sale. They were 99 cents for a 14 ounce package. I think they're 14 ounce package. And uh, the recipe calls for two pounds of meatballs or little smokies. So 14 ounces, not quite one pound. So I'm just short of a, a double batch. And um, got a knife back there, Mom. A what? A knife. So I'm gonna be a little bit short when I make the sauce. I'm not gonna do a full batch of a double batch of sauce, but I am gonna do almost a double batch of meat if that makes sense. So uh, again, this is the day before the event, so I'm just kind of prepping it. I'm gonna put the cocktail wieners in this. I got a one uh, two gallon bag lining a four quart crock pot and I'm just using that to hold everything because that's what I'm going to pour it into and it's going to sit in the bag in the fridge overnight. Uh, I don't want to put the whole crock pot in the fridge because that's extra heating that the crock pot's going to have to do the next morning because the crock pot can be cold. So get those in there. The sauce is three ingredients. So the cocktail wieners and the three ingredients, it's a four ingredient recipe. I said this is not a hard recipe. And the cocktail wieners, I mean they're already pre-cooked. Don't have to cook them. They're good just where they are, feel like hot dogs. Okay. I'm glad I'm the one that ate that because there's a tough piece in there. So the recipe for a single batch for two pounds of meatballs or little small uh, little cocktail wieners is one bottle of chili sauce, a 12 ounce bottle. This uh, came from, of all places, we found this at Aldi's. I uh, just got back from Walmart so I went to buy another bottle. I could not find exactly what I was looking for at Walmart. So, 12 ounces of chili sauce and 16 ounces of grape jelly. This is a 30 ounce jar and yeah. Now this isn't, I say if you're doing a, a single batch you just use a half a jar. Or buy a smaller jar. Or buy a smaller jar. So that would be for one batch. Now say so I'm doing a double batch so I'm going to go ahead and finish out the whole jar. And because like I said, I'm doing a double batch, this is only 12 ounces, I'm gonna add, uh, they got this Heinz Sweet Ket Chili, which is ketchup and chili. Uh, the chili sauce is made with tomatoes, so it's not too far off of ketchup uh, the way it is by itself. This is almost 16 ounces, so I'm not gonna use, but maybe half of this. That should be plenty for those wieners. So that'd be close to a double batch. And the last ingredient is some minced onions. So I've got some onion minced real fine. As fine as I can get it. That's fine. That's fine. And 
gonna put this on the stove and boil it until it comes together. And then once it's come together, then you're just gonna pour it over the, the wieners and go from there, that's it. And I'm going to go ahead and get this done, pour it on the wieners, and these are gonna go in the fridge. So once it's done boiling, I'll come back. So I lied, I didn't bring it to a boil, I just brought it to a simmer long enough to melt the uh, jelly down. There's a few little chunks floating in there. It was uh, not the most expensive jelly in the world, so we're just gonna have to live with it. It ain't gonna be a problem. Now you just take it and you pour it over the cocktail wieners. Now, like I say, if you're doing this for the same day, you wouldn't have the bag in there. You just pour it on top of the little smokies. And that's that. Four ingredients. Unless you're making meatballs and then you have to make the meatballs with whatever ingredients go in the meatballs. You have to wash pot holder. Oops. Um, let's give it a little press down the sides. And I say we're gonna pull this bag out. Once it cools down, it's gonna go in the fridge. And tomorrow. Yeah, that'll work. And tomorrow. We'll take it out of the fridge, dump the bag back in here, turn it on, let it heat up, and that's it. It'll be ready to go. So, thank you for watching the end of the video and getting your bonus video. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends, subscribe, and we will see you, no, you will see us, hopefully, in the next video. Thanks again.